My name is Eric Gavar, and I'm one of the designers of the Hyperdunk. My name is Tom Ludecki. I work for the Innovation Kitchen. We were trying to accomplish creating a new high-performance, modern basketball shoe. In the game of basketball has changed. The team really thought that, you know, the days of kind of the pure post player, the pure point guard are are kind of really numbered. The very core of, of our brief was uncompromising foot, footwear for the hybrid player. The players have changed, they've become so much more athletic. We're realizing that today's players are big and they need the protection, they need the stability, but they're also very fast, they're explosive. That was really the goal of this product. It was kind of the goal with the 2K4 of just the ultimate kind of basketball shoe. I think ultimately we always look to Kobe um, in his hybridness or in his, in his quickness. When you can solve a problem for him, you solve a problem for most basketball players. We said from the beginning we're not going to compromise on cushioning, st support, stability. What it comes down to for stability is actually deconstructing the shoe. And naturally by deconstructing it, you can make it lighter. The less you got on your feet, the higher you can fly, the faster you're on the court, the longer you're going to be able to be on the court. Flywire construction allows you to pull point to point on the midsole without dispersing that energy, uh, putting the shoe on tight against the foot. Really, you, you get the close to perfect fit. Uh, my name is Matthew Nurse. I'm a senior researcher in the Nike Sport Research Lab. Flywire is, is very light. It's a, it's a very different approach to shoemaking. My name is Fred Doge and I'm the advanced innovation engineer. Using this Flywire technology, we were able to get rid of a lot of the extra overlays and really have a minimal upper that holds next to your foot. And it's all orientated to work with your foot for cutting and transition. Jeff Bashada, one of the researchers' ideas was, um, where would you have to anchor the foot? Where is, it, where is a stable part of the foot? Um, that you can anchor to while another part of the foot is moving. There was a time, um, Eric Avar uh, has worked on a lot of the Kobe products, and um, you know he'd mentioned that your foot is slipping around, so he loses seconds. Um, the reality is he doesn't lose seconds, he loses milliseconds, but you lose a competitive edge when your foot's sliding off the footbed like that. And if we can prevent that, then then there is a there's a game. You can envision that being the next generation basketball shoe. So I think just in its simplicity and its modern design feel, but some of those classic elements, that's what really appealed to us and what we tried to incorporate. I think we're we're very happy with um, how it turned out.